In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning, St. Paul. Well, there certainly has been a lot of uh, news uh, in the newspaper and on the radio about the swine flu and how serious the swine flu is in ways that we can uh, protect ourselves from the swine flu. Uh, this morning, on my way to work, I heard a story about a Toronto area woman, uh, a young woman, who was hiking in Cape Breton, Nova Scotia, who was attacked and killed by coyotes. And uh, that certainly got me thinking, because just recently, I was up in northern Ontario with a group of students uh, from St. Paul. We were in the Espanola, Manitoulin Island area. And in that area, not only were coyotes a very serious problem, a problem for young children and a problem for animals, small animals, but also there was a huge problem of bears. Now, I am a real bear lover, and like most people in the southern Ontario region, we see bears and we think, ah, oh, aren't they cute? But in northern Ontario, they're becoming a huge problem. Because of us in southern Ontario, We've put pressure, uh, many environmentalists and many animal lovers, the bear hunt has been cancelled. And as a result, the bear population in northern Ontario has grown substantially. Uh, they are eating all of the moose and all of the deer. And so those uh, animals which are hunted, and there are licensed hunts, uh, hunters are finding that there aren't many moose and deer anymore in northern Ontario. But in northern Ontario, just while we were in the Espanola area, four deer had to be shot. They were shot just outside of a Tim Hortons in Espanola. Uh, they were shot because they were going into the garbage, eating the donuts and eating the garbage that was disposed. Bears love to eat. Now, in the schools, the children are taught that brown bears are very deadly. Brown bears, unlike polar bears, you cannot trick them by pretending to be asleep. So in an interest to protect you, I would like to give you some advice. If you're in northern Ontario and you see a brown bear, you are supposed to try to look as big as possible. If you have a young child, you should put them on your shoulders. Make yourself look as big and as threatening as possible. You should try to scare the bear. Do not try to play dead or play asleep, and do not ever run, because a bear can run like the wind, they can climb trees, they're quick, and they cannot be tricked. All of this this morning has got me and wants me to try to communicate to yourself and to reflect personally that our actions have consequences. When we think here in Southern Ontario, aren't the bears cute? Let's ban the bear hunt. That has consequences in other parts of the province, consequences that we can't always see and we aren't always aware of. Let us be conscious of this this morning and let us reflect in our lives. When we make decisions and make choices, let's always be sensitive to what those choices might have on other people. Our choice to talk in class or to goof around in class or to be a disruptance in class might be all right for us personally, but what about the people next to us that really want to learn? Let's be aware of that. Let's ask for the Holy Spirit to guide us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And I understand bears are afraid of wolverines, and we are wolverines, so we have nothing to worry about. I would like to just congratulate also the Student Council for their efforts with the Breast Cancer Fundraiser today. I think this is just a great idea and another way for us to show that we care. So good work. And then also the students going on the art trip today, the religious art trip, we were going to visit two churches, St. Nicholas Ukrainian Church, at St. Paul's Basilica. The trip unfortunately has to be rescheduled from this morning until tomorrow morning. So you will have a regular school day today, students. Uh, tomorrow we will go on the trip at, at the planned times. And those of you going on the trip who are in your civvies, if you have the toonie today, 
why not contribute it to the breast cancer fundraiser? You're going to get to wear your civvies again tomorrow for the trip. And we would just ask for teachers to be sensitive of the fact that there may be a couple of students who had planned to go on the art trip today that may not be in their uh, uniform. So if you could understand that, we would be grateful. And have a great day, St. Paul. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.